as I was driving home from the Olympics, um, I basically had the thought that I think I want to start my own business with no business experience, <laughs> no business acumen, no nothing, no foundation. Um, which I wouldn't recommend. Um, and I basically had this crazy idea at the time and I started an online magazine. And at the time, it's 2010, social media wasn't really a thing. Instagram didn't, didn't exist at this point. And I used YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter to build up this little online magazine. And I built a pretty big audience. I did it over the course of a year. And I had a team of writers that were contributing. And it was pretty successful. And I built this brand completely using social media and not paying for anything um, and I started to get advertisers. I was actually walking door to door getting advertisers to advertise on my platform. I was like, wow, this is really amazing. And through that step, which I thought, I was like, okay, I found my thing. I'm gonna do this for the rest of my life. I'm gonna build this online magazine into the next Cosmo or whatever it might be. And then as I started doing it, I was like, I don't know if this is the legacy I wanna leave. Plus, I think success leaves clues. And all of a sudden I was getting these messages from people being like, how did you build your brand. How did you build the brand of the magazine so fast? And how are you using social media? And could you do this for my company? So I started working as a consultant for companies all over the place, big, small, and whatever. And um, I loved it. And I realized coming from a traditional media background and moving into this space, how fast paced it was and what the opportunity looked like on the landscape. I never could have imagined I would, it would be where it is now or I'd be doing what I do now, but I just knew it was new and exciting and it was built to last.